All right, S and P. You asked me, <laughs> do I have a little spider sense? Uh, as in, should we be grabbing puts? I, I don't. I don't think so. I really thought it was later. Right now, I, I think we are just pulling over. Uh, at the open, we gapped down and sold off. This is the open right right here, so I'll, I'll zoom in for everybody to see. Uh, as the futures open, so we closed right here, uh, and then what? 35 minutes ago, opened up right here and then sold off? No, wait, what, 35 minutes? Um, what, two and a half hours? Our son is in Beto for his Roth. Would you change it to straight Bitcoin? He's on hood. Um, hmm. <laughs> I th probably, I think so. Beto pays the dividend. That's cool. But there is some management involved there. Uh, where Bitcoin is just going to be the underlying. Like that's what is driving everything anyway. Um, <laughs> Jim, how many times are you going to say that? Uh, he says, PTN, thank me later. Uh, I don't, I still think this is, I wouldn't be worried about the markets doing anything crazy un until this zone broke. At bare minimum, this zone needs to break. Would I rather own gold or a contract that holds the right as it moves? Uh, okay, you're referring to uh, Bitcoin versus uh, Beto, right? Hmm. Okay, so we sold off. We gapped down and still have a little bit of sell off. I want to see how this overall holds. Yeah, I think we're still just... Hmm. I think we're sideways. I think you might be cautious and wait for the dip buy at this yellow zone. But overall, I, I'd still have to be bullish. Uh, as far as the NASDAQ goes... I'd almost rather buy the dip right now, put my stop right here, right below this blue zone. Uh, Russell, mm. let's look at financials real quick. Uh, I'd actually be long the Russell or financials. Like that's that is a bull flag just in general. That's a nice setup, actually. It's not even that bad. Uh, so we gapped up, sold off, bearish engulfing, super bearish. If you trade those candles, you're probably super, super, really short. But then we gapped up, and then we, so it's just been inside this whole time. Uh, a break and a close above or below will likely be your signal. Remember what happened last time I drew these out? I'll show you in case your memory's a little foggy. Tesla, we had this range right here. It broke above. Broke above and closed, and then it just kept going. Spidey says, <laughs> calls again, always calls, bull market. Until we turn this thing around, uh, yeah, it's just a bull market. You know, like you have to just kind of play the overall trend. Uh, it, I hate to sound like a, a broken record or anything, but nothing really firing off that should give you any warning signs. You know, this wasn't even that bad of a, a sell-off. This is still very... Still very controlled on the way down. It wasn't panic, fear, or anything like that. Uh, checking the VIX. Mm, no one's really buying it up. The V VIX. Um, v VIX is kind of eh, kind of stepping it up, uh, but we'll see. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to find an argument for you to really be short this. As I say that, the candle turns green. Um, hmm. Overall, tr so hourly trend is down. If you're short futures, you're probably still trailing. Knife catches, you're probably going long, putting a stop right here. 
but overall markets bigger picture you're buying the dip down here and nothing about this just looks scary yet yeah let it break that first this one i think you know you could probably try to short this market over and over again it's gonna be like jumping out of the top of a tree and just hitting every branch on the way down it's just gonna feel annoying by the time you hit the ground and look up you're like mm, yeah i probably could have seen that one coming uh this particular one i think it it'd be better you'd probably be better off long run waiting for the trend to actually break and then just jump on board that trend is this live uh no it's pre-recorded draw a long trend line on es um i mean trend lines you probably don't want to get too carried away with when you think of who's actually buying the trend, probably more immediate, maybe even smaller institutions might be playing a trend, but nobody, Goldman Sachs, yeah, I know they're a market maker, but Goldman Sachs, you know, the big banks, they're not necessarily probably drawing on a line. Uh, but connecting these two, these two as your connecting points, maybe we bounce right here. Uh, let's see. All right, let's talk about SMCI real quick. <laughs> Get wrecked. Uh, okay, so I, I had that, uh, what was it, the 50 call? I had the 50 call, and uh, shout out to Cody yesterday because he even locked it in. He locked his in while it was up. While it was up, I ended up selling a, a 60 strike call, thinking if it, if it really sent it, we're going there, so I'll just get max gain. Uh, but really all I did was lose a little bit less on that. Uh, so I bought that back to, I collected a hundred bucks on it, bought it back for like 13. Uh, so I have until the 15th for this to become an absolute momentum stock and, and send it. But as, as of right now, probably, probably not going to happen. Uh, the amount of people that I didn't even know were in the stock market were actually texting me today, asking me what I thought about this, which is crazy. One person even said, I think we should be buying a truckload of this. I was like, whoa, that's, please stop. Please don't do that again. <laughs> Ask that and break down for the night. Are we buying HPE or Dell since, uh, I guess we'll just jump into yours right now. Uh, okay, so HPE or Dell, competitors of, of super microcomputers. Um, I don't, I don't. Thanks. I don't know if that's the play yet. Can we just get the stupid lines to work? As far as zone plays goes, zone plays, we got that right there. Uh, breaking that, and we are jumping right on down to here. Hmm. Okay, as far as this play goes, uh, hang on, I'm going to get to that. Uh, SMCI is toast. Done. Finito. <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. Until they do get delisted. Didn't we run into this situation in like 2018? Uh, this is this has been a thing before. Uh, here's the thing. If, if they clear it and everything's good, I don't know if we're past the point of no return. This thing could absolutely send it. So for everybody that just can't help themselves and want to buy something that looks like this, I mean, I did. I, I bought it just as a because of the amount of attention is on here. This could turn into a, a pump and dump. It's had its days where uh, it sees these incredible pumps. Uh, so I do think there can there probably could be a rally on this. And this is the thing you need to ask yourself now before it becomes a momentum ticker, because this is the last stock I would want to see a bright green candle on and then jump in the chat and say, is it time to buy calls? No. You either front run the risk and run that thing to zero or uh, you just sit this one out. So make that decision now because any green day on this, I'm just going to say you're chasing. So don't ask my opinion because um, I'm just going to say risk and capital and best of luck. You know, that that's just really what it's what it's going to be.